So today I'm just going to be updating my microphone pouches inside my Pelly case. Uh, it's been a few years since I've like, updated these stickers saying what microphone should be in each pouch. So it's handy to have because I know I can get all the microphones out for the show and then I'll have a pile of these pouches ready at the side as I'm packing them away. I know like once I've got these two microphones in this pouch, zip it up, put it away, and then I know what's left to pack. I'm not gonna leave any microphones behind. But yeah, I've not updated them for a while. The gaff tape has become a little bit like, you can see here, it's all just like start to melt into the pouch a little bit. So I take all this off, clean them up a little bit, and just update them for the microphones that I'm taking to a show this weekend. Yeah, it just needs a bit of a tidy up in this panel case, because Do that. So my kick drum microphones are in the kick drum. And if you can see in there, there's my 91. And somewhere in there is my 250. So I need my 91 and my 250 from inside the kick. So I'm done a Kelly shoe. So drum gate, take the front to get off. So inside this kick drum, we have my 91 on the bottom here on the Kelly shoe and my 250. Audio Technica on the top on the Kelly shoe as well. Uh, I did it this way around and I was trying to minimize the cymbal bleed on the 91 by mounting it upside down. Uh, I don't actually think I liked it down there. I think it might work better if it was mounted a little bit higher up and it was facing the beater. So I think I'm going to turn this around for the next show. But it was worth a bit of a try and we tried foam in the top to reduce the bleed as well. But we tried it. I'll probably spin it around for the next show. But for the show that I'm doing this weekend, I just need my 91 out of this and this 250 as well so let's grab them out so on the bottom of this kelly shoe the bottom is little pegs here it just stops the microphone sliding out so to get it out you just pinch the bottom push it down the plastic peg comes out do that on both sides and then the 91 will slide off the plate I'll take this bit with me leave this with a Kelly shoe and this drum kit. And here is my Audio Technica 250, my kick out mic. So for this show, I'm gonna need my kick in, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, hi-hat, three of my toms, I've got another two toms that I need to get out of a different case. I'll use that for the ride. Overheads, use this for bass mic and 158 there. I need another 58, so I need to grab two more Tom mics and another 58, and then that should cover the band that I'm with plus a DI box, the bass, and the DI box for the sample pads. These DIs are pretty cool. Orchard Electronics, I think about 25 quid each, and it's just simply an XLR out and a single jack in, already ground lifted, and they're just cool, they work. So I want to clear some of this sticky label off. This is ProGaff, but because it's been in my bag for a few years, different change in temperature, you can see it's gone all like sticky and melted into the pouch. So I'm just going to peel this old gaff off. And then I'm going to use sort of this label remover to kind of clean it up a little bit. So let's see how it goes. as good as new. So I'm ready to put some more tape on there and relabel it up. Let's do the rest of them now. So 
so while I've got it out, I'm actually going to redo my pelly case as well because it's looking a bit old and tattered. A few old bands on here that have not worked for for a couple of years. The stickers falling off. So, yeah, let's take these off. It's not fresh. As good as semi new, it's not the best. Uh, it's a little bit greasy from the label remover, so I'm gonna go get a little bit of washing up liquid water, just try and degrease it a little bit before I stick anything else on there. I don't know where the other clip has gone for this 450, so I need to find that for now. Looking at. I'm not taking these with me, but I'm going to patch them up anyway, ready for the next tour. I've got five of them, so the last one can go in on its own. So I've saw the pouches labelled up, label remover on the front of my pillowcase. So I'm probably going to put a bit more fresh gaff on the front of that, just so I can identify it as mine. Maybe just update it with you know, the current bands that I'm touring with. Before it said Water Parks and the Wonder Years, who I've not really toured with for like four years now. So yeah, we'll update it. We'll stick wash sleeps and um, malevolence on here for now. And yeah, let's pack the microphones that I'm taking this weekend for this malevolence show. Kick in, kick out, snare top and bass mic, snare bottom, hats and ride. Still need to find the clip. Uh, three of my toms, I still need to go get the other two overheads. Both guitars are Kempers, and then 258s for the backing vocals. The band have their own lead vocal mics. So majority of that in there. I also said I'd bring along six LP claws. So this one with a clip on it already for my snare. Wrestle cover Tom Max. So six LP claws. I'm also going to take two of these KM arm clips. These are good for my overheads or well, underheads. Clamp this to the boom arm. That in there. Microphone on can position it underneath. That's an assortment of mic clips. There's some sure ones for the vocal microphones and the bass mic. Then we need the attachment bit for the LP claws. And then I have this little K&M clips to the hi-hat stand underneath. Let's go back on there so I can just get the mic directly underneath the hi-hat. Nice, neat, keep it away. 
through these orchard DIs. 